Hello, my name is Anna Castoldi and I'm a toxicologist working at EFSA. Today I'm here to talk about low-dose effects and whether or not they are important for food safety, and in particular for chemicals in food. But why are chemicals in food? Food is made up of elements and chemicals, many of which are harmless or even desirable. Take for example nutrients like protein and fiber that help us grow and stay healthy. On the other hand, some chemicals might be harmful if our bodies are overexposed to them. So how do we know when we are overexposed to them? The first step is to establish the amount or the dose of a chemical required for the body to respond and produce an effect and to determine how much is acceptable or tolerable for the body. There is a famous quote by Paracelsus, a 16th century Swiss uh, scientist, that says, all substances are poisons, it's the dose that makes the poison. This means that the higher the dose of a chemical, the greater the response and the effect, and as a consequence, the likelihood of an adverse effect. It also means that for most chemicals, there is a threshold dose below which there is no adverse effect. Based on the threshold, we can establish safe levels for substances such as food additives, flavorings, pesticides, and so on. However, in recent years, this classical dose response curve has been challenged by the so called low dose hypothesis. What is it? According to this hypothesis, some substances, known as endocrine active substances, that behave similarly to human hormones may cause adverse effects at low doses, but not necessarily at all higher doses. If this were the case, these chemicals would have different kinds of dose response curves. For instance, this U-shaped curve with high response, both at the low and high dose range, but not at the intermediate dose range. If proven, it would be impossible to calculate a threshold and consequently to establish a safe level for these chemicals. Why would this be important for food safety? Some endocrine active substances, sometimes found in food, include several pesticides, industrial chemicals like dioxins and PCBs, and bisphenol A or BPA, which is used in some food content materials. Our endocrine system consists of hormone producing glands that regulate and control our bodies in various ways. For example, they play a role in mental and sexual development in humans. This system is particularly sensitive for infants, children and unborn babies. Therefore, anything that might influence how the system works needs to be assessed for safety so that it does not pose a risk to consumers. And does this mean our food is unsafe? No, the idea of low-dose effects is still only a hypothesis. Based on the evidence, many scientists are not convinced of its validity. Risk assessors like EFSA are directly involved in the scientific debate and will continue to put first the safety of consumers.